Well, Kelly May begins our Sweet 16 coverage at the Cronin Center on UD's campus where the team just left town. Kelly. Yeah, the team pulled out of here at about 4 o'clock sharp this afternoon, but before they did, it was very exciting. There was about 100 fans gathered to cheer on the players and, of course, Coach Archie Miller as they got onto the bus. It was all smiles for the guys as they made their way through a tunnel of fans. The Red Scare was, of course, making it loud, chanting, and making it a send-off worthy of the Sweet 16. Now, instead of an eight-hour bus ride, the team went to the airport from here at the Cronin Center to fly down to Memphis. They still got time to think about their game before tip-off on Thursday night. The first Sweet 16 in 30 years means fans have a lot to cheer about. Want them to know the communities behind them. We're, we're here to send them off and bring home a win. We're going. We're doing it. I support my Dayton Flyers all day, every day. Came out to see our team two days early before our game. Getting on our bus. We're just giving them a good Dayton uh, goodbye. Now we also got a chance to catch up with Coach Archie Miller and the senior from Centerville, Matt Cavanaugh. We'll have more on their mindset for the game coming up tonight at, 8, at 11 o'clock. For now, reporting at the University of Dayton, Kelly May, ABC 22 News.